Hello and welcome to Match of the Week. Once again, it's Russian and Diamonds against Hayes. The second meeting of the uh, two teams this season. But now the Diamonds are in trouble. Haven't had a uh, win in the last five. Five losses, that is. But they uh, take the trip down the London and Church Road to try and change all that round. You see Hayes now uh, taking to the pitch. Been led out by Captain Dave Stevens. And of course, there are the Diamonds. Ray Warburton and Captain leads them out. This should be one of Billy Turley's last uh, game before he serves his suspensions. Obviously two red cards in the, the last two games really haven't done him uh, a lot of good. If we look at the uh, Diamonds lineup there. Familiar names everywhere. John Brady gets back in the team and Gary Buttles relegated to the bench. And looking at the Hayes bench you will see uh, number eight Eddie Newton. Former Chelsea player, FA Cup winner and uh, got a medal in the European Cup Winners Cup a few years back with Chelsea. So this is an important game. What can Brian Talbot's men do? See Ray Warburton there uh, going to toss the coin. This really is important now. Uh, Diamonds a massive seven points behind uh, Yeovil and of course Yeovil uh, elsewhere today in the FA Cup against Blackpool really is a must win obviously uh, a lot of games this week in the conference league called off because of the wet weather Jackson now down the left hand side bit of space oh it's hit very hard there by um, Alvin Watts it was I think the uh, Hayes fans are too happy with uh, Jackson's acrobatics but a free kick it is Brady well taken in the air by uh, Hodson, he was under pressure there from Jim Rodwell. Hodson, young goalkeeper, he uh, only 19 years of age. Played the last uh, three games for Hayes because a regular keeper has been out injured. Stevens down the right hand side with a good ball in. That was a good shot there. Well worked free kick, it was uh, Mora with it from the edge of the area. Good turn down that right hand side, ball through the middle. Stevens was unlucky, laid out left. Good ball in from Flynn, oh good climb, oh unlucky. That's good work from Gary Mills. We tried to feed it through to the feet of Dwayne Darby. Feeds it out left to Burgess, good ball in from Burgess. Met in the air, air by Boland. Good work from Eddie Newton, brought down. Hayes again on the counter. Breaking down the right hand side, it's a good ball over the top. Boyland is in a bit of space. It's a good ball across, oh good header, well off the line! Ray Warburton with spectacular clearance there. With a good ball in from Boylan and it was uh, Flynn, I think it was Clive Farmer. It will be a Hayes corner. The ball over should be easy for Turley. Oh, Turley's fumbled it. Underwood off the line. Newton back in. Warburton with a clearance. Diamonds really putting themselves under enormous amounts of pressure. Ball still not clear. Brady does well. As does Burgess. Diamonds really backs to the wall now. Underwood to take. Deep in the box, oh, Brady was there with Warburton, oh, off the crossbar, Jackson's there, hit the post again. Oh, I say, how unlucky can you get? As the rain starts to uh, fall now at Church Road. Good ball, Lynch be easy for Billy Turley, collects. This really is a uh, different Diamonds team from what we saw first opening seven, eight games of the season. Brian Talbot stuck with the uh, same start in 11, but now he hasn't kept one since beginning of November now. John Brady, but we let's fly, that's good, oh, just wide of the post. Brady again, good header. Jackson back to goal, releases Tarkan Mustafa. As always, linking up well with John Brady down that right-hand side. The diamonds throw taken quickly. Sloppy from Jackson gives, gives it away. Rodwell at full strength with an excellent header. 
Mills hooks it over the top. Well, Curry looked like he was uh, shoved in the back there. Newton back with his goalkeeper. Oh, what's Hudson done straight through his legs? Jackson's there, must be a goal. Diamond's one up. Really, you've got to say, against the run of play, extraordinary goal. Matt Hudson, the young goalkeeper, obviously not happy with himself. Zeddy Newton with a little roll back. I think Hudson just panicked as he, as he was being closed down by Justin Jackson. Newton came in, but Jackson had the easy job. So, just to start the Diamonds wanted. Tackle from uh, Burgess. It's a mistake, Warburton loses out. Stevens now down the right hand side. Good shot, oh, great save, Billy Turley. Brady takes quickly, pumps in. Oh, appeals for penalty there. Ray Warburton felt was being held, nothing given. All still not clear. Warburton nods wide to uh, Rodwell. Tees up Curry, John Brady's there as well. Curry with a good ball in. Oh, it's Hudson going again. The young goalkeeper decided to come, then changed his mind and just ended up on the floor. Ball still not clear. Mills now, he gets caught very late. Diamond's working this ball well. Newton does well to stand up, but Hayes now have the chance to counter. Pump long out of the left hand side. Boylan has been closed down by Paul Underwood. There's a good ball from uh, Flynn over the top. I think he was looking to relieve Boylan again. Jackson loses out to Newton. Kerry the first time ball over the top looking to release uh, Dwayne Darby. Not really got the pace. Watts does well. Will be a diamond's throw though. Looking up at his options. Comes inside to the feet of Kerry. Excellent ball from Sean Kerry. That's when he's at his best. Jackson now fires across. Defender in the way. Darby with a chance to turn. Newton did well, stood up strong at the far post there. Brady beats them all in the air. Burgess switched sides now, it was a good reverse ball from Burgess. Nobody in the middle. Good period of pressure this for, uh, for the Diamonds. Underwood loses out in the tackle, ball spread wide. Newton finds it at his feet. Releases Flynn, being closed down by Mustafa. Good ball in, should be easy for Turley with a big shout. Wasn't happy with the uh, tackle, I don't think, from uh, Moore. Close to the referee that uh, Moore came in with studs up. Some stuff from Derby. Oh, that's excellent work from Gary Mills with his uh, close down by McKim. That'll be a free kick to the Diamonds. McKim all over the back of uh, Gary Mills. Dangerous uh, position for a free kick to be given away. With Brady and Underwood over it. Oh, Underwood takes, that's good, oh, just wide. Underwood takes into the uh, feet of Kerry. Mills may be looking to line one up. One of the one-two off Darby. Darby did well. Oh, looks at it straight over the crossbar. So approaching half time, it really has been a uh, excellent first 45 minutes for uh, Brian Talbot's men. Hodson takes and there is the half time whistle. And what a super opening period it has been for the Diamonds. 1-0 half time through that uh, Justin Jackson go after the mistake from Matt Hodson. Really is the uh, best 45 minutes they could have wished for after the last few games. But of course, now the second half of, as uh, Hayes take on Rosalind Diamond, second time this season. It's good work from Derby down that uh, right hand side. Hester and his man wins the uh, wins the throw. Jackson ball at his feet. That was excellent climb by Matt Hudson, who was under pressure. Good possession football here from the Diamonds. Underwood in the feet of Jackson. 
That was sloppy, but uh, Brady now with the ball down the right-hand side. Good ball across, met in the air by Eddie Newton. Hayes clear again. Chance for the counter. Slight hit to handball, they're off uh, Warburton. But McKim gets it to his man uh, in the end. Oh, excellent tackle by Rodwell, he's being closed down by Moore. Oh, Billy Turley spills the ball. Oof. Dear, oh dear, basics are really there for Billy Turley. I don't know if he slips or not, but uh, luckily Ray Warburton was there to clear up. Uh, Darby brings it down on his chest. Good first time ball from Kerry into the feet of Jackson. And he turns, he's got Burgess coming down the left hand side. Tries to find it, but it was good defending by Watts. Must put down the right hand side, Jinkin one way, then the other. Brady goes wide. Wasn't a good ball in from Tarkan Mustafa straight into the chest of uh, Matt Hobson. Good ball from Moore down the uh, right hand side, met in the air by Rodwell. Clark from Warburton. Should be a goal kick. Brady was uh, tugged to the ground there, I thought. Nothing given. Because Dom is only one up. That's, uh, although it is a lead, it's not much of a lead. It really has been a sloppy last few minutes, this. No team really um, able to get a, a foot on the ball. What slices it wide? Finds Flynn. Oh, that's good work. Pills around ball against Angie Burgess. Free kick given. Good ball fired across. Turley's underneath it. Collects very easily. Good throw. Releases John Brady down the right hand side. Diamond's on a quick counter attack now. Brady's not got a lot of support ahead of him. Oh, there's an excellent strong tackle from McKim. And it had to be really. Must for the take the throw. Ooh, move was shoved in the back there, free kick given. Oh, it's good work from Tarkan Mustafa. Does two men, finds his way into the box. It's unlucky, Jackson's there. Oh, great save, Hudson. It's good work from the young goalkeeper. Gave away the uh, goal, obviously, in the first half. Derby, let's fly. Throw is taken quickly. Burgess now, ball at his feet. Releases, uh, tries to release Jackson down that left-hand side. He had Underwood in support. Good ball across from Jackson. Nobody at the far post. Mills came in. Now a chance. As McKim now driving into the box. Oh, it wasn't a good ball. Pushed more very wide. Good shot from Moore. Oh, Turley was caught very late there. I think it was Boylan who came in. Moore did well to get the shot on target. Of course, as we saw in uh, last week's game, Turley had to be careful. A bobbling ball in the area. But he did well to get behind it. So, Diamond's first substitution of the afternoon. Dwayne Darby come off. Good 60 minutes. I'm sure Brian Talk will be very happy with that. And he's going to be replaced by Gary Setchell. Burgess now. Releases Jackson. He's got a bit of space on him. He's being uh, closed down by Sterling there. Good hold up play. Really sloppy from Underwood. Sean Perry does well, as does Ray Warburton. Free kick given though. Taken quickly by Moore, fed down the uh, right hand side. The ball across, met in the air by Ray Warburton. Newton fires it back in. Oh, excellent uh, clearance there by Mills, I think it was. Mustafa ball at his feet. Very sloppy from Mustafa. Oh, Setchell was called very late there by Sterling, I think it was. Only just on the pitch. Ball fired long, wet in the air by Setchell. Good header. <laughs> 
Game of head tennis really. Burgess now fires the ball in. Oh, sexual was pushed there. Could that be a penalty? It is. The referee, Mr. K. Reynolds, points to the spots. Setchell's down injured. Hayes players aren't happy with his decision, but I think it was pretty uh, pretty clear. I think it was very blatant there. As Setchell went down, he, uh, he banged his head. But it will be a penalty. And it will be a chance for the Diamonds to uh, go 2 0 in the lead. So Underwood against Hudson. And Underwood fires home. Great stuff, good penalty. There's two penalties in two games for uh, Paul Underwood and his, actually his third goal in three as well. Well struck penalty, sent Hodgson the wrong way. So very satisfied now for the Diamonds. 2-0 up, still got to be careful, must have a clear as well. Jackson needs to hold it up, he's not got a lot of support. Good turn from Jackson. Terry fires right. Was through with a bit of space to run into. Brady with the ball at his feet. Fires a good ball across. Oh, Setchell's there, good header. Oh, Sterling off the line. Fires it straight into the, uh, straight back into the body of Gary Setchell. Wasn't a good throw from Mustafa. Good work back from Mills. Ball pump forward in the feet of Jackson. Really should have met the ball. Burgess does well. Jackson now left hand side. He's got Paul Underwood up in support. Andy Burgess as well. Ball inside to Underwood. Good ball fired across. Oh, Burgess was there. Good shot. Oh, Mills came in as well. Jackson got in the way of that one. It's good stuff from the Diamonds, good pressure. Ball still not clear. Terry feeds it into the feet of Setchell. Plays the return ball. Kerry now taking his time. Uses John Brady. That's oh, good stuff from John Brady. Linesman flags. Teammates in the uh, linesman down that right hand side. Referee uses his vice. Oh, Setchell's there! Oh, and he sneaks in! Hodson lies in a heap on the floor, but it was a good header from Gary Setchell. It wasn't the most powerful. The loops in and the goalkeeper really should have taken care of it. I seemed to have hold of it, but then he just slipped through his fingers. A very satisfying afternoon for the Diamonds now. Looks like three very valuable points. Of course, if the uh, score stays as it is with Yeovil not playing today, that puts Diamonds five points behind Yeovil. Of course, the Devon, Devonshire team have uh, two games in hand on them. And there is the final whistle. And what an afternoon it has been for Brian Talbot's men. A very satisfying 3-0 win. The goal in the first half from Justin Jackson after a mistake from Matt Hodson. Then followed up by a Paul Underwood penalty. And of course, in the dying seconds, a super header from that man there, Gary Setchell. So, three valuable points. Final score, Hayes nil, Diamonds three. OK, Brian, three much needed points there. Yeah, very much so. I mean, uh, we've gone there three league games without a win, two cup games as well. Um, we needed, desperately needed a win today and we got it. Looking forward now to Christmas period? Uh, we've got one or two games before then. Uh, we've got the, the show back on the road today with, a, I think, a tremendous result away from home at Hayes. And now we've got to build on it. We've got another hard game next Saturday against Hennessford at home. Um, uh, we've got a game against Kingstonian beforehand, but I've got to be honest with you, that is not a priority, but we'll do our best there. Saturday's important to us next week, we've got to try um, our best to get three points next week. And the picture will look slightly different again. Any more injury worries at the moment? No, we were fortunate today that we didn't pick up any injuries. We had one and two scrapes and bruises and cuts, but they're fine. And uh, obviously Derby came through an hour uh, and he's now back, hopefully he'll be okay. Uh, for next week to play, maybe hopefully the whole game next Saturday. So we're getting players fit. Underwood is now back playing, and gradually, slowly but surely, everyone's getting fit. Obviously, Michael Hatton's out, but uh, we we haven't had him all season. So if we can get a full squad to pick from week in, week out, we'll be okay.